Hello everyone, welcome to Boxing Blogs and guys, please if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe right and also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all send up the new bang a new exclusively you will definitely be notified. To my ninja brothers and sisters right there, now God I take back when I make a like the video, share subscribe, share them. The more you share, the more the apples grow and the more will they impact so many lives especially when it comes to boxing and during Africa because really want to take this stuff to the next level when I help our youth and I believe with you guys you know me support we will get there and we shall get there and we must get there now let's get straight to it right now so Kalezauland okay has declared that they are looking at a possible WBSS tournament for 2021 he said that if Tyson Fury and the Joshua fight twice next year it could be the right time to match the contenders looking at this uh, hypothetical lineup um, <laughs> it's a very interesting letter right here Andrews Jr. in it Alison Upperett King, Joseph Parker, Mike Hunter Alison Usyk, Daniel Dubois, Dylan White and of course Luis Otis okay very interesting who goes against who right now uh tajagbe okay you like analyze this if it happens this is a hypothetical in a way but if it actually happens who do you say yeah. winning this tournament and how do you match them up is he a lesson working against the uh, um lesson usik or usik against andrews jr or Luis Otis against Perkin? Both guys fight each other. <laughs> you know what I mean, and then you have and then White, Dillian White against Joseph Parker, which already happened before. I think they are open to up to making happen again. And then you have the Andrew Boy against Michael Hunter. A very interesting, you know, uh, matchup. But at the same time, Ajaba should be here though. Let's keep it right there. Absolutely, man. Ajaba, Ajaba, Ajaba is replacing Ortiz. Ortiz, Ortiz said no way, shouldn't even be there at all. You know, I'm just gonna be honest. Ortiz should not be there at all. But you know, it just seems like uh, Ajab is being uh, blackballed. I, I, I pray he gets another chance. But to me, I, I will tell you one thing. What stands me out is that. Um, is I, I haven't seen Usyk fight, but I think I I think Usyk beats Daniel Dubois no problem, and he beats Ortiz no problem. It's just question is if he could beat Dylan White, which I think he can too. He can't beat Dylan White, and Dylan White is side master. Of Bro, I, I understand that Usyk is definitely is far more uh, skilled than than the boy. But at the same time, the boy punch harder than Usyk. Let's not let's not forget about it. we are in every division right now. Skills might be good, but those guys with the land, it is good night. And you know, the boy has got has got heavy hands, bro. Heavy hands. Continue. Yeah, that is true. He does have heavy hands, but Dubois does not fare good against people who are way faster than him. I don't think Dubois is all that fast. He's actually pretty slow, you know, and that, that could be his downfall when it comes. And he gets tired very quickly. I think Usyk overwhelms him with punches and gets him tired, and Dubois starts fading in the later rounds. And that's how Usyk wins, you know. And But uh, when you put Dubois against uh, Dylan White, I think his chances are much better. Because you know that they both they both have the same stamina, you know. Du, uh, 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 Dubois being maybe a little bit skilled, skillful more better than White, you know, might be able to take out White quicker. But you know, if then if you match him up against Ortiz, Ortiz is 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 way he's he's way more skillful than Dylan White and Daniel Dubois. So, you know, and we, we all know he's taken one of the hardest shots from the heavyweight division, which is uh, Deontay Wilder. You know, so uh, Dubois trying to land some punches on him will be the most difficult, and it, 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 it'll take a lot of Daniel Dubois. So that might be another problem for um, 
for for Daniel Dubois. That's how I see. That's why. That's why I see it being a, a a very tough fight for him. You know, he he he's definitely in the, he's been put in a tough category. That's for sure. You know, if they put him to the left, I actually really see him coming out uh, victorious out of out of. Um, uh, Michael Hunter and Alexander Povekin. I think it might just be him and um, him and Joseph Park in the end, you know. But with Andrew Ruiz, you just never know with that guy. I, I'm still, I'm still a little uncertain about him, you know, when it comes to certain things. But that's just the way it is. But who who do I think will come out victorious in this in this tournament? <laughs> I think my I'll put my money on uh, definitely um, Alexander Usyk because if you look at it, all these uh, Luis Ortiz, Dana White, Dan Dubois, they all have stamina problems, and I think that um, Alexander Usyk's skill just overwhelms them, and they throw too many bombs and they'll get tired and they'll go to they go to a decision. But to the left side of the uh, of the of the, of the bracket. This one, this one is it's, it's not as easy because I could pick the right side. I could easily pick, but the left side is so much harder. The Joseph Parker beat Andrew Ruiz barely. A win is a win. Um, Michael Hunter, he came to a draw with Alexander Povekin, so I think I'll take him out. He'll probably lose that tournament. Alexander Povekin, eventually. That that fight again will not. Um, he'll probably get tired with uh, Andy Ruiz, you know, and probably lose on points. That's what I think. But I honestly believe it will probably be between Andy Ruiz and Joseph Parker for that for that final eliminated to face uh, Alexander Povekin. Believe it or not. Yes, brother, definitely right, and of course it's going to be interesting. A lot of people will have their, you know, have their own take on who wins in a way. But it'll be interesting if it happens. Do I see it happening? I mean, I don't know if uh, Al Himo will allow Ruiz to participate in such a tournament. You know what I mean? And I know Michael Hunter might be down. Because Michael Hunter is a guy that want to fight. Uh, Luis Otis, I don't know. Uh, if maybe if the, if, if the money is there. You know, because it's already, you know, I mean, up there in age, and the boy still young, and he want, he might, he might take it. You know, white, the can man, depends. If the money is is right, he will take it. Uh, Puerto Rican will know he fights anyone. The park up, I don't know either. Maybe takes it, maybe not. I mean, so stay blessed, the youngest temple guys, and of course, um, there's an Usik. I think Usik takes it. We'll see. Cheers, guys. <laughs>